Hey everybody, Cuddlesnot here with Tomb Raider 100% Episode 4. Dom, dom, dom. In the last episode, we saved Roth, although he's passed out with blood everywhere. So, now we gotta go save him again. Yeah. Anyway, one thing to note is that there is not a document here. Because there will be in the future. Because the landscape here changes pretty dramatically after a very specific event, so... Looks all nice now, but just you wait. It won't be for very long. Alright, so first thing about this area. There is plenty of chickens to go around. So it's a great way to get some extra experience and get that kill count up for the small animal kills. The chickens do not count towards birds. Which makes sense, because I guess they don't fly. So the whole technical ability to shoot them changes. So I guess that makes sense. Anyway... The very first thing we gotta collect, anyway, is this flashing GPS here. Just chilling. Somehow not moving under the very strong current of the waterfall. And Laura, Laura in a wet t-shirt contest. And for the record, I do believe that is my first sexual reference to Laura, Laura Croft. Laura Croft. You know, this current iteration of Laura Croft, anyway, so. Pat on the back for that. I'm going to try to avoid a lot of those because they're really unnecessary at this point. Anyway, next thing is we got ourselves another challenge. Although this one is going to take a lot longer to complete. This area right here, the Mountain Village, is probably the most central area in the game. We come back here a couple of times. There's a... Oh! She went unlocked. 15G. Tastes like chicken. That's for small animals. Rabbits, chickens, whatever. Uh, we come back to the mountain village a couple of times, and there, you'll see there's a couple of places, like right here, where we need a specific, you know, item, kind of like Zelda, where you come back and backtrack once you get a certain item from a certain dungeon. So there is a certain element of that here as well, which is, you know, a little bit different than, say, Uncharted, which is probably the number one comparison to this game. Just wanted to say that. All right, so we came down here. We got those two salvage crates. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go up, grab ourselves another GPS cache, and then jump on over to the second floor over here. Kamakura period. Kamakura. Was all this part of Yamatai? Damn right it was. Oh wait, I think that's technically a spoiler because we don't know we're actually on Yamata this yet. If they've even figured that out by now, then you have never played a video game before. And all right, so here you kind of saw that rope thing before on the door. Here's another thing that requires another item that we will get in the near future. And when you come over here, make sure that you have a lit torch, because if you don't, you'll be running back to go get one, because. I guess that's up another floor. And I ran right past another document, which is right here. After our fort. Cool. And um, kind of nicely illustrated for us two different things that we need two different items for that we will come back to get, to enter, to explore, if you will. Then, like I said, you have make sure you have a light torch. Lit torch, not a light torch. Light as in not a very heavy torch. A heavy torch will kind of defeat the purpose, I think, unless it's like the Olympic torch. Just so you can get that salvage crate, because otherwise you have to kind of go back all the way back downstairs just to get it lit. And then we can come up here. Just need to get to this roof somehow. There's a couple different ways, but... And we start the second challenge, Egg Poacher. And just like with the statues, we will be not completing them anytime soon because we come back to this area quite a few times. Uh, three GPS cache number three. Okay, and then we're gonna go grab GPS cache number four, which is down here. Make sure that you fall onto the, that, that second platform right there because otherwise you will die if you jump all the way down here. Two GPS cache number four. Beautiful, beautiful. Then we get to jump onto the planes. Make sure you hit the X button there, otherwise you fall into the water, which is never a nice thing. Oh my god! That's a lightning bolt. Lightning bolt, lightning bolt. Taking out the trees. This is a damn old plane. 
It's like one of them World War II bombers. X button again to keep ourselves from falling. And this is where the wolf was howling. Woo! I just, I just howled. Because you, obviously, I needed to say that I howled because you didn't hear me howl. Yeah. And if you want to look over here, you can actually see these markings and as well as a GPS cache right there. But we're going to go grab them when we're actually supposed to. And we can't go into there quite yet because we don't have the right item. But we will unlock it very shortly. Anyone that suffers from claustrophobia should not play this game because Laura goes into many tight spaces. Many, many tight spaces. And there's absolutely no sex joke there. Because Laura's going into the tight space. It's not the other way around. I just oh boy, I just did it again. Pack. That's all. Oh my god, there's a huge shadow! Well, that was uneventful. Maybe we'll actually get out of here without getting attacked. Ah, wishful thinking. Wonderful, wishful thinking. Okay, got to get this back to Roth. Yeah, because he's bleeding out. Oh no, I thought we were gonna make it. You know, I definitely thought we were gonna make it. I did not think we were gonna get attacked by a wolf in the wolf's dead. That would just be way too convenient. Man, this guy takes a lot. Usually it's just like one arrow to the head, but now Laura just stabs him in the chest a couple of times. Oh, that was close. <sighs> At least we get to loot his corpse. Get some salvage out of that. Worth the trauma, the lifelong trauma. And I also got to say, there's a lot of an uh, animal skeletons. If there's animal skeletons, that makes sense. But no, there's a lot of human skeletons in here. Just to be like a wolf den, like. This is one ferocious wolf to be able to kill this many people. My god. Alright, so now it's very tempting to jump down the zip line. Don't do it. Just don't. Instead, you have to kind of make a leap of faith down to the roof right there that... that the, uh... change sides. Thank you. That that bird's kind of hanging out on. Can I shoot him from here? Ah, I missed. So this, this jump can be a little tricky, so be careful. If not, you'll have to come back up here to get back down here. There we go. And we get ourselves another GPS cache. All right. So like I said, the mountain village is kind of like the center area of backtracking, where we'll come back here a couple of different times with a couple of different items. And it's only the really, the only area like this in the game. There's not really an area this big. Because usually you go through it once and you can, can collect everything on your first way through. But not the mountain village. Right. Let's get you patched up. Young lady like you learned to do a thing like that. <laughs> Late shift at the nine bells. <laughs> Wolf's got nothing on a broken bottle. Hey, you got it. Nice work. So I assume the plan is to take that up to the radio tower. Well, that should give us the best shot of broadcasting a strong signal in every direction. Send out that SOS. And I'm not climbing anytime soon. Yeah, I was afraid you were going to say that. Uh, you can do it, Laura. After all, you're a croft. 
I don't think I'm that kind of craft. Sure you are. You just don't know it yet. Well, that's happened my fast letter then. Just be careful, Laura. Axe a go on the rock wall over there first. Yep, that's our climbing axe allows us to, to do much more in terms of access. And before we take off, though, we gotta chat up Roth. What the hell is happening on this island, Roth? Who do you think these people are? Violent fanatics, some kind of cult. But they're organized, they were ready for us. I'm worried about Sam. These people are insane, Lara. Don't dwell on what they're capable of. Just focus on the task at hand. I can't believe Whitman just surrendered like that. You never know what someone's gonna do in a situation like this. Though I wouldn't say the good doctor's reaction is a surprise. Are you going to be okay here, Roth? Don't worry about me. I have old friends to keep me company. Let's get up to that tower. We need to broadcast an SOS. All right, so... Just like with Whitman before, you need to chat him up completely in order to get the Chatterbox achievement. And if you miss it, well then you won't be able to Thank do God it again. You have to play through the whole game. All those tracks, all those climbs. And Laura is doing another one of her journals. Let's see, what do we really want? So, we've already gotten the three critical ones here that really affect your progression. The XP and boost, and the two salvage ones. At this point, when we're only on tier one, as you can see there on the left side, buy three more skills to unlock tier two. You can really just spend it where you want to spend it. You can spend it if you like feel like you're always running out of arrows, do arrow retrieval. If you feel like you're always running out of ammo, do ammo capacity. For the sake of the video, I never really have a problem with ammo, but I'm gonna do animal instincts just so you know stuff's more visual when I use the instincts. All right, so. Animals and food will now glow. Alright, how much salvage do I have? 288. What are we going to spend it on? Obviously, the pistol, because we've already upgraded the bow all the way, right? Or as much as we can, yep. 20% good. So let's make it do even more damage. Perfect. Alright. Let's get the F out of this camp and three out of ten journals. Perfect. Okay. So now that we've got the climbing axe, we can do a bit more. I want to show one more thing before we take off, and that's you can kind of see this area here with this post. Again, we need a new item that we don't have yet. And same thing with that hanging satchel of salvage. As you can see, there's kind of a torch. We can light it right now, but we can't push it to light that torch on fire. And it'll be even easier to get that salvage crate once we get an even different item. So I can climb this. we will be doing quite a bit of backtracking in this area. All right, so now that we got the climbing axe, here's like the next big platforming element within Tomb Raider. And right now it seems kind of slow. You can upgrade the speed later. And here we go, another salvage crate. But it is actually a lot of fun. I think it's one of the stronger parts of the platforming in this game, because otherwise it, it it's very generic. It actually it adds a little bit more interactivity with having to use the X button to throw in the to throw in the X, kinda like right here. Slow mo, you know, like I think that I love that shit, man. Like I'm a cinematic guy. I, I fucking love that shit. Makes me feel happy inside. Alright, so now here's the markings that actually indicate a secret tomb that I showed before. So let's go do it. Our very first secret tomb. Our first tomb in Tomb Raider. And our sixth GPS cache. So, this is a pretty big moment for us, guys. Breaking her in. 
Letting her earn her name. And this is probably the number one reason why I think this game should be called Lara Croft, not Tomb Raider. Because of the tombs in the game. That's, that's really what it comes down to. I mean, these are fun little, you know, like, distractions, and of course the rewards are nice, but like, I wanted something a little more flushed out. Like, I was always expecting, expecting or hoping for something like, kind of like the Assassin's Creed Assassin Tombs, where like, you know, it was like, it was a whole sequence within it. But no, they just, they're just like, little puzzles. That's it. Just like, single, very quick to solve puzzles. So, I was a little disappointed by that. Like, I wanted, like, little substantial mini-dungeons, so I was let down. I mean, and I, I really wish, like, they were, there's only, like, one or two good puzzles out of the six. One definitely, two maybe. The rest of them are really simple and not that interesting. Like, this one, it's, oh, there's hanging, there's a really weird contraption that I have no idea what it would actually be used for. And they were hanging body bags off of it, so let's burn the body bags to adjust the weight ratio. Throw this sucker off. Because if we threw it off and then jumped up here originally, it would just like fall to the ground like a rock. Now it's doing a little bit slower because there's not as much weight on the counter, and the counterbalance can help us out a little bit more. And now we can get up here. This may have been built in honor of her priestesses. Incredible. And, but we do get a big fucking chest. I mean, that's that's awesome. I love big chests. All right. And on that other terrible sexual innuendo, our first tomb, tomb raided, tomb raider. We raided a tomb, and we got the achievement for unlocking our first tomb. Boom shakalaka. Alright. We should have a skill to spend. Yes, we do. So, like I said before, just kind of spend it wherever you feel that you need it. Uh. Hmm. Let's carry some more ammo. Okay. And let's spend some salvage. Uh, pistol, of course, and extended mag, or, hmm, increased rate of fire, definitely. Perfect. All right. All right, let's get the fuck out. Am I going the wrong direction now? I feel like I am. Well, we'll find out, won't we? No, I'm not. Ha 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 ha. All right, cool. And then the tedious walk through. I kind of get it. I get it. It's like, you know, it's for the ambience to kind of get you psyched up for the area, let you feel what Lara is feeling. But uh, definitely on the second time through, it's not as effective. Anyway, I, I, I don't want to seem like a downer. I think this game's a hell of a lot of fun. I, it's just, it's so easy to pick at the little details on a AAA game, so that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so now that we've raided the tomb, we can now continue to scale. Kunk. Kunk. And I must say, I think I, I, not think, I really like how... The axe sounds, the climbing axe sounds. Like, I don't usually love how stuff sounds, but like, I really think it, it sounds really good. Oh boy. Shh, guys, we gotta whisper. Otherwise, we'll get destroyed. As you can see right there, there's a lantern, but it's not super effective because it only can take out one of them at a time. I really thought you could, like, take them both out, but I tried a couple different ways and I like, really couldn't. So it's not a foolproof method. I'm sure you can, because it seems stupid that you wouldn't be able to, but... Alright, so let's see if we can shoot these guys with nobody noticing. One, two... And... oh boy, I think we did it. Yep. 
We got this. Perfect. Three beautiful headshots. All right. So we got a body to loot. A salvage crate and another document. I have spoken to some... And then... There is a... The only way to get up on this roof is that way. I try the other side, it doesn't really work. We got our seventh GPS cache. And then scramble on over here to light the torch once again. Get ourselves another salvage crate. Conk. Beautiful. I love breaking apart yellow boxes. It just makes me happy inside. And light our second statue. Boom, boom. And then we can jump over here and get ourselves our second relic. A kind of mortar and pestle. Probably used for preparing medicinal... There are small bone fragments. In and the for the well. life of me, I cannot see these, see these fragments. I just, I can't, I can't see them. I don't know if I just, my need to turn my brightness things all the way up, but I, I just can't fucking see them. Well, yeah, that's my own shortcomings I have to deal with. All right. Now, just get on the box, you... There you go. There you go. And grab ourselves our second egg. Okay, then after that, we want to drop off onto this side. Make sure your torch is still lit so we can grab this salvage crate. There we go. 88. Okay, and then while we're down here, we're going to loot the corpses. I'll talk about corpse looting a little bit later when we get into some serious uh, action, but suffice it to say that it is very, very important to loot corpses because that is a key source of salvage as well as weapon parts. Although, for the most part, those are randomized, so you just kind of have to loot everything. Okay. Now we're back up. And now we're climbing again. I just love climbing. Climbing is the way I beat. I, I don't want to sound like I'm sarcastic, because I'm not. I, I do like climbing. Climbing's fun. And also it's fun collapsing bridges that I jump way too early off of. That's what's fun. Alright, this time now. Uh, still too early? No? Yes? Oh ho! Okay, that's fucking cinematic. Even better if I had nailed it the first time, but hey! Are you there? Not everyone's perfect. Reyes! Did you find Sam? We're still on her trail. I'm going to try and send an SOS from an old radio tower up here. Any tips? Hey, Lara. You're gonna need to find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. Okay, I'll let you know when I find it. Hey, wake up! Wake up! We got an intruder! Okay, so... Please! In terms of Don't weapon... Ouch. In terms of weapon kills and trying to get, like, the max... The best... Not the max, dude. Oh, no, you don't. I'm gonna shoot you in the head if it's the last fucking thing I do, son! If it's the last fucking... Oh, I had him. I had him. I had him. Ah, oh, see, I shot him in the shoulder. Not as good. Come on now. There we go. So, in terms of weapon choice to, you know, get all the achievements, as long as you swap it up and as soon as you get as soon as you get one of the achievements for like, you know, all the pistol kills or all the bow kills, but use the other weapons as much as possible, you have no problem getting all of them. And like I said before, there is some combat specific ones that you can't get after the game's completed and you'll have to play through it again just to get those achievements, but those aren't going to come up for a little while, so don't worry about those quite yet. And also, in terms of headshots, I go for headshots as much as possible for the obvious reason of the achievement, but then also it gives you a little bit more experience. So it's worthwhile, especially when there's like a little skirmish like that with only three guys, 
to kind of like dodge, duck, and weave and not play like a normal person just to try to get those additional headshots. At least, I mean, I think that makes it a little more fun. I really like the combat in this game. I like it a lot. For a third person shooter, it's really fucking solid. I just wish the multiplayer was a little bit better because then I can use that shooting and kill other people with it. I'm telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey, is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah, she's cute, huh? <laughs> hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I'll be right with you. So I was on the walk, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give it a real Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got it. Oh, cut, cut, cut! Cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? <sighs> I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. A discoverer. The world renowned archaeologist, fish Mr. I Dr. Don't James cut Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's I fine. It's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that one of your father's digs. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? Hmm. All right, okay, major Lara. foreshadowing. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. We'll grab that. You can see right there, there is a relic, but I'm going to save that for the next episode. So, actually, before I do my whole spiel, let's see if we can spend it on anything. I think we can grab the extended mag, am I right? Yep. Wonderful. Okay. So now I can do the spiel. Alright, guys, thanks for watching Tomb Raider 100% by me, Cuddlesnot.
If you like the spreadsheet guide, uh, what it is, it kind of lays out what we get in each episode so you can follow along, see if you missed anything, and absolutely, definitely keep track of what the hell's going on. So if you're just following along while you play as well, it's very helpful to make sure that nothing slips through the cracks. And if you want to get that, make sure you're a subscriber, like me on Facebook or follow me on Twitter, and then send me a message through the respective site, and I will send you the Google Doc link right away. Okay, guys, thanks again. This has been Cuddlesnot. I'm signing off, and I'll see you again next time.